Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we will see one important interview question. Difference between save and persist in Hibernate. Difference between save and persist in Hibernate. So first is the return type of save is java.igo.serializable. It returns the generated ID value. That means it returns the primary key of the object. But coming to the persist, it returns void. That means return type of persist is void. It does not return anything. And second one is save method can be used inside or outside the transaction boundaries but persist method can be used only within a boundary of a transaction. That means save method can be used across the transactions but persist can be used within the same transaction. And third one is save method takes comparatively more time to execute. I repeat once again save method takes comparatively more time to execute when compared to the persist method. Persist method takes less time to execute. Process method takes less time to execute. Why save method takes uh, more time to execute? Because once the object is saved, it returns the identifier back from that save method. But in case of parse, it, it does not return anything. So that is the reason it takes a bit more time when compared to the process. Okay, hope you guys understand the video. What are the differences between save and process? Thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.